Yeah, g'day, it's Charlie Zero Two CTM. Just uh, thought I'd put up a quick video uh, in between uh, in between trips. Um, back out again tomorrow. Just sort of thinking about what um, I might want to do for the next project. Um, I've got a few things already on the go, as you know. Um, still want to continue working on the uh, the Scalar Network Analyzer. So while I'm away on this trip, I'm going to do a bit of uh, software engineering. Got a, a quick and dirty little um, HMI interface here just three buttons so I'm, I'm thinking from a menu point of view it would be um, up down and then enter uh, and then frequency display with the rotary encoder so like I say it's got a, a quick little simple interface there to to allow a bit of software engineering while I'm on the road but when I get back I'm sort of quite keen to to rebuild one of these two um, portable radios here and I, I think I might work on this one here um, this was a portable radio that was designed to go into uh, this sort of plastic lunchbox here. Um, and I'm quite keen to to shrink it down into something a little bit smaller. Um, one option is to go for something quite small, like um, like we did for the uh, little CW transceiver, or perhaps, and I'm probably more inclined to go with um, the same footprint, um, but. A slightly deeper container here. Uh, I think that might be the better option. I'm not really losing a huge amount when it comes to uh, it comes to space, but just having that extra height there would just be a little bit easier when it comes to say making up the um, the RF power amplifier and having slightly larger heat sinks there. So I, I think I'm probably going to go for something like that. But uh, trying to shrink it down is, is going to be um, well, a bit of a challenge, I think. Um, I'm quite keen. To, to maintain the configuration or the topology so it'll be a um, single conversion super hit um, I do want to use again um, the NE612's that are currently in here um, a couple of reasons why um, out where I'm tramping there are no local high power RF transmitters so overloading of these devices is not really going to be an issue um, another advantage is there is a little bit of inbuilt gain in these, so it just uh, reduces the amount of amplification required in addition to these uh, for the super hit. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm, like I say, I'm quite keen to go this way. This configuration here, I was just utilizing the two inputs and outputs, uh, and that's with the relay there, was just switching the crystal filter uh, between uh, either the inputs or the outputs, depending on which way the signal was going. So I'm quite keen to uh, to do that. Um, nothing too much else to say there really, apart from um, to get it down nice and small and to have that sort of AF power amplifier as small as possible. Um, not going to have a speaker in that, it'll be uh, headphones only. Uh, like I say, single sideband. Um, I think I'll stick with the, the PTT TR switch like that. Um, I personally have no problems with that, so uh, I'll do probably something similar. Um, and then just basically redesign all the amplifiers. So this particular configuration I was playing around with at the time uh, the, the cascoded J310s uh, set up um, as a pseudo uh, dual gate MOSFET. Um, while it worked very well I think I might sort of for this particular one uh, maybe just play around with the uh, the 2N3904. Um, I think it'll be single band, um, in fact it will be single band. Uh, won't be 80 meters um, just for the antenna size, I, I think I might go with just debating between 40 meters or 20 meters. So um, if anybody has a preference there, sing out. Um, I'm not too fussed which way it goes. Um, I'm just interested in, in rebuilding it. Um, I think for the, the next one, I'm, I'm not going to use this OLED display here. Uh, while it works really well, if, if you remove the antenna, you can hear right down to the noise for just a little bit of noise coming out of this. Um, I, I, I don't notice it in normal operation, but I think I might sort of steer away from that particular device uh, in this particular case. And what I'll probably do is look to use, again, that um, that four segments of the LED that we did for the CW. That, that worked particularly well. So that's what I'm sort of thinking about using um, for this particular rig. Uh, Power amplifier, no real decisions there how that's going to work. Um, I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. Um, I'm thinking too, uh, again, being out in the boonies, uh, there's really nobody else around me, so for reducing the size, I might do away with the uh, the output low-pass filter. Um, 
just depending on how much um, available real estate we have. Mind you, mind you, having this size box here, I can probably get away with mounting one on the on the vertical wall there. So we'll see what happens there. But again, uh, I'm not going to be using it around any kind of built-up area, so I wouldn't have thought RFI would be a major issue. Um, but we'll see how we get on there. Um, I was toying with the idea of trying to make it um, sort of general coverage, uh, but I'm, I'm not quite sure how that's going to work. I think there's still going to be a need of some sort of bandpass filter there just to to introduce or to, to allow just that sort of small segment of, of frequencies to pass through uh, for the band of use. So um, while it was a good idea, I think I'll just probably stick it on either, like I say, 40 or 20 meters. But that's going to be the plan. Uh, rebuild this, keeping that the 2J, uh, the any 612s uh, probably maintain the switching arrangement for the, uh, the crystal filter. Um, and like I say, redo the whole VFO, BFO there. Um, the AEF power ramp will be redone. In fact, the whole lot will be redone, just um, starting from scratch and see how small we can make it. The other thing I do want to do uh, in parallel with that or afterwards is revisit the uh, the SDR rig. Um, I'm quite keen to, to keep working on this one. Uh, the performance of this one was, was actually really good. Um, I was quite happy with that indeed. But it had a very quick and dirty display on it and it would be nice to replace that with a, um, a better sized display um, and then get back into, like I did, I think a couple of years back, um, playing around with the, the fast Fourier transform and maybe even a waterfall coming down. It would be quite nice to sort of um, have a play around with that. Uh, I think I did try it in that recently and the particular display that I had, uh, the refresh rate was very, very slow and uh, it just wasn't very useful at all. But anyway, that's that's the plan, is to, is to, is to re-go through this entirely again. Um, what I'd love to be able to do is to replicate um, what Hans Summer over at QRP Labs did in regards to the, uh, the SI5351. In other words, um, get that quadrature output from that and then do away with um, this, this whole arrangement here which is pr providing that quadrature clock signal um, to the two mixers. So that would be nice just to get rid of that, that little board there. Um, I haven't, since Hans came out with uh, that presentation uh, a few months back, I just have not had a chance to have a good play with that, but that would be uh, a challenge that I wouldn't mind trying to do. If someone else has already cracked that one, please let me know, because I'll be very keen to know. Anyway, so that's, an, that's another one I want to do, is to um, have a good look at this whole SDR rig here and, and give it a good, um, a good going over, uh, including the power amplifier that uh, that's has been modified or ripped out of an old... Um, uh, HF rig, so I wouldn't mind actually redoing that and putting some more thought into how that may work. But anyway, so just a uh, just a short video there just to sort of think about and talk about um, some plans for uh, the next couple of rigs. Um, work, unfortunately, is going to keep me pretty busy for the next uh, few months, so trying to utilise my time in and around those is, is pretty precious, so I want to have a reasonably good plan. If anybody else got some ideas or, or some constructive feedback, please sing out. Um, but that's that's going to be the plan moving forward. Anyway, I'll say 73 is better start packing ready for tomorrow. And uh, hopefully I'll have a chance to do some working on this while I'm away and um, start to work on the, uh, the user interface. Um, there's been some really good comments coming back on different modes, which I think would be a really good idea to, uh, to incorporate in due course. But I'll probably work on this in parallel with, with the other projects. Anyway, I'll say 73s, and uh, any comments uh, are certainly welcome. Okay, cheers all.